Hi, Hi Floss Tube. I'm Nancy. I'm Laura. And, and we, we are, are Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. We are so excited to be here with our first Floss Tube video. Um, and we hope that you enjoy it as well and that you subscribe and tune in again next time. Um, we thought we would start out with the know your floss tuber questions that kind of went around so that you know who you're dealing with here. So the first one is, where do you live, Nancy? I live in Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> I live in Gladstone, Missouri. We only live about five or six minutes yeah. apart. Yeah. We're very Not, not close. far, yeah. yeah. The next one is, what do you do? I am an administrative assistant. What do you do, Laura? <laughs> I'm a paraprofessional with ELL students, so I work with kids who uh, speak another language in their home and are. we try and make sure that they are fluent in their English and understanding. That's cool. Do you have any fur babies? I do. I currently have two. I have um, Sonny, who is a little fuzzball. He's, um, what do they call them, gingers. Mm -hmm. And then I have KJ, who is a bigger cat. He weighs about 22, 23 pounds. He's a big guy. He's a tabby, a brown tick tabby. <laughs> what about you? We have two cats at our house as well. We have Tiger, who is our older cat. He He's is a love bunny. He is a love bunny. <laughs> and he is a, you say, a brown tick tabby, huh? Mm -hmm. And he's gorgeous. He weighs probably 15 to 18 pounds. Um, he's, he's small compared to KJ. <laughs> but he's our big heavy cat. And then I have a Siamese, and she's a traditional Siamese cat. And Gorgeous. her name is Poppy. And she screams at him all the time. And the best part <laughs> is that she jumps up on the furniture, and when he walks by, she reaches out and swats him on the butt. <laughs> so, And they are starting to play more together, so we really like that. Good, good. Um, next, do you have any other hobbies? Besides cross stitch, yes, um, I like to garden. I haven't gardened a lot lately. This house kind of uh, overtook me, overwhelmed me, because we went out to work in the gardens, which we have two twenty foot stretches, and it was covered at least four to six inches in lava rock. Wow! So last year, all we could handle, we cleaned out for three and a half hours, a three foot square. So that's as far as we got gardening last year. <laughs> what about you? What do you do? Um, I brought a couple of things to show. Um, I am She's not... much more crafty. <laughs> I am crafty. I'm not real prolific with all of it, but <laughs> I like to make um, scissor fobs. I love my ginger scissors. This was actually the first fob that I made. And I, um, I have my threader hung up there on it because I like that. And then I have, and my family gave me that pair of gingers so that I could do some cut work. So I really loved it. Then I have another pair of gingers. That's my really favorite pretty. color. And then this is the fob that I have made for them. I think you can see that. Yeah, it's pretty. So it's kind of long, but I like them that way because then I can find my scissors easily. And um, I do all sorts of little crafty things. Just I've tried a lot of different things. Scrapbooking. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, my latest one is that I am making book sleeves. And they're kind of fun things. I have a couple. Fun? Sure. I have a couple different designs that I brought with me today. Isn't that cute? And they're just a nice padded book sleeve. They have a, a different a coordinating color lining them. They're just kind of fun. And this leads me into, let's see, oh, there we go. Fabric in there. And they're all squishy. They're good. They'll yeah, protect they're your nice. books. Um, I kind of plan to use one for my um, Kindle and maybe my iPad and whatever else I need when I'm carrying things on my phone. But that oh, leads sorry. into the next question. Um, what is your favorite book? My very favorite book ever is Jane Eyre. And I have this beautiful copy and I also have ooh, ooh. <laughs> this it. beautiful copy. Uh, they gorgeous. were both given to me as gifts. Um, I just, they're gorgeous. And they have the... I love the smell of books. <laughs> they have the ribbons on them. I yeah. love them, love them. 
And then one of my other very favorite series from childhood, I read this when I was really little, um, is Little Women. And again, I was gifted this really pretty copy of it. That's beautiful. And it's a fat book. It's short. I don't know if you can tell how short it is comparatively. So it's not like a regular book. And it's, I mean, it's just cute. I mean, Little Women and it's little. So <laughs> that was fun for me. So, yeah. Here, uh, do you have a favorite book? Um, you know, I have, mine are more the movies. Mm -hmm. I don't read a lot of books, but I listen to them. Do you have a favorite tape. author now? No, not really. I listen to a lot of different things, and um, I, I think it's more of a genre for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of like the... Um, the fantasy books. The fantasy books, yeah. yeah. All I could think was witches and goblins. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. um, one of my favorite authors more recently is Dorothy Coombson. I love her books. She um, she evokes every, every emotion from me. And I get so mad at her that I can't stand it. And I cry with the characters. And I laugh with them. And, I, you know, I'm a hot mess. So I love that. But her yeah. books really make me think. They, they really are thought-provoking. That's good. That's, That's I know. one that I loaned you on the cruise when we got stuck. Oh, okay. So. I know that um, the other drivers, as I'm going to work, think I'm crazy because I'm doing the same thing, <laughs> except in my car. So, <laughs> Okay, so then what is your favorite movie? I think my all-time favorite is Pride and Prejudice, but the BBC version, you know. Colin that, Firth. Yes, oh my and God. And Jennifer Ale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's my absolute favorite. And then, you know, running close behind is Sense and Sensibility. Mm -hmm. So I love all those Jane Austen movies, oh, yeah. too. But uh, Pride and Prejudice, the same version, is my favorite. Oh, man. Um, and a little more current, I love, and they're, they're, you know, kind of the same type thing. I love the movie Love Actually. Yes. Um, to get to watch, to get to watch the dancing scene where he's going through the... Uh, cabinet and just dancing all the way through just cracks me up and um, there was one other I had thought of I can't I just can't for the life of well, me while think you're of thinking right a funny thing about um, Pride and Prejudice was that I had years and years years ago when uh, VHS was the big thing I had videotaped it from PBS so I had this VHS tape, and I would watch it all the time. Mm -hmm. And it got to where there was hardly any color left in it. It was almost a black and white. And so I, you know, bit the dust, spent the money, bought me a disc, and I was watching it. And first off, it was so bright. <laughs> and then they had more scenes in it. And I kept going, oh, new scene, new scene. <laughs> in a brand new movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so it was Hugh Grant in Love Actually yes. that does the dancing, which makes me think that my other one is Notting Hill. Oh, gosh, yes. And I just, that's sweet. just so sweet. I love it. There's mm -hmm. so many funny things. Yeah. Uh, when his sister follows the Julia Roberts character into the bathroom, I laugh hysterically <laughs> every time. So, uh, the next, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, my gosh. I have two. First one is coming on tomorrow night after the Super Bowl game, <laughs> and that is uh, This Is Us. Yes. I oh am my. so hooked on that show. And then the other one is, of course, Vikings. <laughs> I love Vikings. I am kind of a serial TV watcher. Uh, one of my favorite series of all times is Gilmore Girls. Oh, in fact, my daughter... My Rory loves me so much, her name's not really Rory, that she got me this beautiful bag <laughs> for Christmas. That's cute. And I just love it. It's it's a great tote. So yeah, that's my favorite series Fun. probably of all times. Fun. So then what's your favorite music? Um I like um new age music the best, but I do like I mean I like all kinds. Mm -hmm. You know, because I do like a lot of the classical music and the old um, Frank Sinatra. Yes. 
Oh, I like all of that too. I kind of listen to everything. I listen yeah. to country. I can't do um, wangy country though. That, mm. <laughs> um, I listen to newer country that's <laughs> not twangy. Uh, but I also played in orchestra for a lot of years. So Me I too. really do love classical music yeah. and that's always had a good place in my heart. Now I like a good story. Um, Jack Johnson, I really like. He's just fun. So. That's one of my favorites. But we also really like our classic rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we have our definite favorites there. So. Yep. Um, one word that best describes you. I know Nancy struggled with this yes, one. I have because I'm, I'm used to doing it in relation to job applications. You know, oh, yeah, I'm very uh, organized and, you know, punctual and yada, yada. But this threw me and I kept thinking... The word that kept coming back to me was genuine. I think with me, what you see is what you get. You know, I'm not going to try to um, make things better just to not say something. If it if it bothers me, you're going to know it bothers me. <laughs> I may not say it out loud, but you're going to know. So, <laughs> and my word is quirky. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everybody has said, oh, yeah, that's your word. <laughs> You're quirky. So I'm the baby sister. I'm the baby of the family. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm the quirky one. So um, that's the end of our crazy little section of Know Your Floss Tubers. So hopefully yeah. you know a little more about us. If you have any questions hopefully or comments. Stick with us. Too. Yes. <laughs> if you have questions or comments about that, then feel free to post those. Um, I don't know that we're planning to answer questions on the site and with our, our video, but we will come back next week and answer anything, anything that you have asked us. That'll be fun. Okay, now we want to think about shout outs and who we want to shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the one that comes to mind the most that we want to shout out on for Floss Tube is why we're doing this to begin with. Mm -hmm. It first started with um, the gals in the Kansas Stitchers group. That kept saying we were so crazy. <laughs> we needed to do a, a floss tube, and we were both like, what the "What's heck floss, is a floss tube?" tube? <laughs> so, so we got to watching it, and we both stumbled on the same one: mm -hmm. Priscilla and Chelsea. I said to Nancy, "Oh my gosh, I'm binge watching <laughs> Priscilla and Chelsea. They are so fun to watch. Have you watched them? They have such great finishing yeah, ideas. Yeah, they do, they do. And I, I did the same thing. Then I watched one, and I thought, hmm." <laughs> Let me see what they do next. <laughs> so, yeah, I sat one weekend and watched the whole thing, clear, caught it up, and now I watch it religiously every week. And now you know why we're addicted, addicted sisters. <laughs> yes. Um, I've also watched um, Pam and Stephanie, and I have learned some things. Oh, and Pam, thank you for the lovely uh, tip about saving money. I went on um, the Just web and I looked. That. <laughs> I googled some things and found some plans and I've printed out the charts and I've got my family working on this and I will have money to go do things that I want to do Yay! because of it. Yay! Yes. And um, I also like, I was telling you, I just started watching Weasley Studio and mm. oh my goodness, two of the sweetest men, Drew and Phil. And um, I'll have to look that one up now. They're really fun. They're they're really fun to watch. Cool. And my other, I think you've watched my other one too, is Bindi Stitchy. Michelle. Hi, Michelle with two L's. We love you. You've watched her I too, right? I think I've watched her a little bit, yeah. yeah. We're, because we're so new, we're still trying to explore and find people. Yeah. Who's your other one that you watched? I really watched like? um, Mischievous Stitches. So I really like, she does a lot of the... Um, European styled, mm. which is kind of my favorite stuff. So, <laughs> okay, uh, then we want to show you some finishes we've had. Um, uh, we should start here and tell you that Nancy and I are hosting a uh, retreat in three weeks. Yeah, and so twenty days. Yes, twenty days. So our time has been filled a lot yeah. with stitching and planning for that. So I have 
at least three projects that I can't show you because mm -hmm. I can't show anything that will be on there, but we do plan to make a video while we're there. So we'll show you all these things You'll get that to we see them eventually. Yeah. And and we have challenged each of our um, attendees to stitch a pin cushion and bring it with them mm -hmm. and to keep it secret. So to do an exchange. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've even kept it secret from yeah. each other. And I have right now I have two of those finished that I can't show you. And then I've got two more in the works that I can't show you. And then I did one here that you want me to help you with something? That I just yeah, I'll let you do that. I just love this. I was going to do that as my pin cushion to give away, but I can't bear to part with it. And I think it's just so adorable. And I'm going to finish it with these fabrics. I don't know if you can see that. A little polka dot. And then the white is, you can't catch that either, but it's polka dot also, white on white. And I've got this little ribbon. Do you want me to hold this part? Yeah. That I'm going to put with it. So I think that'll be, that's hard Let's to see. see. There we go. But it kind of reminds me of the flowers on the piece itself. So that'll be really pretty when it all gets done. I can't wait to get that done. <laughs> and I am kind of a January finisher. I have finished. She's got hot needles. <laughs> January is my time, though. And I, I really do finish more things. I don't know if I pull out things. And finish things up, although I didn't do that this year. But boy, and last just, year you had what, twelve or fifteen? No, in the first no, month? I only had five <laughs> or six. Five or six in the first month. I have, and and currently I have five. Wow. So, wow. um, this is one. Um, I did the little strawberry up Which there. Is up here. Thank you. And it is. It looks like this right now. So hopefully. In another couple of weeks, I will be able to show you what I did to finish That's that. That's going to be cute. I just realized I did not pull out my first finish of the year, oh so I'll grab it real quick. Oh my gosh. So I actually think I finished six. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. You can't believe I forgot this, right? I can't. So my first finish of the year was to finish up this yeah. stitch along. This is beautiful. And um, it was from RETM. So it's the 2017 Quaker Fantasy Stitch Along. And every stitcher chose their own colors. And um, then we did what we wanted. And I don't know if you can see. Um, I was trying to see where there are some. Here, there's some. I added some little beads where they made sense to me. So they're like in those little dots down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there they are. And there's some up in the top. There's oh, blue and, and gold ones up here. I can feel them here on the sides. Yeah, but they're really Beautiful. heavy down there. Beautiful. And then um, in the center, she designed beautiful, beautiful, beautiful initials to go in there. However, I just didn't want it for mine. And I had this cute charm. And I decided that I would put the scissors on there. I like and I that. Liked it. That's really so, cute. That's another one. And then uh, my most recent finish, I guess the strawberry I finished after this. But I have had this series by Sisters and Best Friends. It's Winter Sampler. I have had this series forever. I finally have all four of them. They will all four be stitched this year. But I did this little winter guy. <laughs> And I He's just so love cute. him. And the I decided crazy swirls in his yeah. fleece. I decided I didn't want to do the whole big sampler. And I like the pillow, but I wanted to add um the heart is part of two of the other ones. So I decided I wanted the heart on all four of them. And I thought I would put the season down there and it would just be Cute. It'll just make my little seasonal pieces. I like that. I like how you change that up a little bit. Yep. So those are my finishes. Okay. Then we have a previous finish to talk about. Yes. You want to tell about that? This one came from the Joie Noël from uh, Blackbird. And it is one that I know a lot of people have done. 
it's um, Tis the Season. And here's the picture of it, so you can see that. That's how we were supposed to do it. <laughs> we don't follow directions very well. No, we don't. On anything, have you noticed that? <laughs> so here's Nancy's. So, yeah, I did mine. I decided it needed to be on blue. So it's a blue sparkle, a blue crystal. Nancy's favorite color is blue. Yeah, it is. But I just loved him and... Hold it up a little more. We um, went to PTP, thing. and this was fabric from Marilyn, I believe. Yes. She helped me figure out all of the colors, so the, the conversions were really what they had, but just something that would go with this fabric. So the only one I really remember, that they're all Vicki Clayton, mm -hmm. and the only one I really remember the name of is the white, and that's because it's white chocolate. One of my favorite candies. <laughs> And I love that white chocolate. Yeah. However, when I got mine and tried to um, tried to use it on mine, oh, oh my awful. gosh! So um, for me, I went green. And That's really pretty. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and my bird. I mean, we've used even our birds are different colors. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to hold them together here in a minute. Um, but mine. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I used just, I did use Vicki Clayton on it also uh, when I picked everything out while we are, were yeah. at Picture This Plus. Thank and, you, Marilyn. Yeah. <laughs> Marilyn is always great to stop and come out and look and ooh and ah with you. She's wonderful help. So um, Beautiful fabrics, mm -hmm. great store. And this was actually, she used to call them orphans. Mm -hmm. And this was an orphan, so it was something that didn't die right. And actually I had... Just this little piece left over after I stitched something else on it. And I thought, oh, well, that would be really pretty with that. And I love all of the the greens and reds. But here they are together. Let me see if we can do it. Let me raise it up. So yeah, there we go. So there you can see the difference that the fabric and flosses make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, in my frame, we walked into, I pulled this out. Oops, sorry. I pulled this out at the Sunflower Seed in Topeka and um, one of the ladies said there's a frame over there I think will just be perfect and I went Gorgeous. over and this frame was on clearance it doesn't say how much I got it for but it was originally 4570 and I know I got it for significantly less and look at the detail I love it it's such a cool frame it's so beautiful. we um, often stitch the same thing, yeah, and it's and we'll never have the others same. Others on our <laughs> future future videos, episodes. yeah, <laughs> so that you can compare and see what happens. Because don't be afraid mm -hmm. to try new fabric. See the fabrics that I have. <laughs> don't be afraid to switch out to a color that's really speaks to you because that's going to make the piece yours yes. and more special people tell us all the time oh you're so good at that you do such a good job switching out and i think oh my gosh i have the same panic moments that everybody oh, yeah. else does oh, yeah. um generally if they give um the dmc um for it if they if they will say what the dmc colors should be even if they're using Fancy floss, that was just <laughs> for you, word. Chelsea. <laughs> Even if they're using fancy floss, um, they usually will give the DMC, and I'll pull those and lay them out yeah. so that I can see. And for me, it's easier, like if I know I need a dark red and a lighter red, so I can look at values and replace things. Yeah, yeah. So. just tweak then as you go, because it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. So, very pretty. Then next, Nancy is going to show you her whips. I, um, I'll show you mine in a future episode. But or two or three. I have significantly more than Nancy does. So, Okay, so the first one I have here is Nest. Ooh, and we've seen some really cool finishes yes, on this one. Gorgeous things. So, you know, I just got to a point where... I just needed a rest. But this is where I'm at on it. You got it. I think so. 
which, you know, really, I've just got the big old nest and the bird. Well, looks like the rest of the border, the maybe? the border, and I'm done. Well, that's close. So, it really is. I just, you know, I need to get it back out. <laughs> Here, I'll let you do that. Um, then the next one I have, oh... Oh yeah, Laura and Katie and I started on this, and I've got my working copy here. Because this came out of a magazine, and yeah. so we just, I don't like to haul a magazine around. No. And um, we just thought this would be easier. This is a Nora Corbett. And the name is yeah. Halloween Fairy. Because we always say the wrong thing. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where I'm at on this, and this is a piece of Zweigert fabric, and it's called Marshmallow Fudge. Let me hold her up. There we go. So it's probably from um, Silk Weaver, I would say. Yes, bet. offline. I mean, off. From online? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get that out there, Oh, my well. goodness. Okay. And then this is one I just love. Here is the pattern. This is Twas the Night from Sue Hillis Designs. And really, I've just got the border to do. I think what oh, I'm gonna no. do though, there's there's a lot of, um, what do you call it? A lot of changing of flosses. You do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. I think I'm gonna get a really pretty over dyed green do you need help with to do the border on there. Cause I've got, I've got all the words in. <laughs> it's good. Okay. I've got all the words in. I just need to finish up the border. So I'm thinking if I get that done this year, then I can get it put up for Christmas next year. Oh, I should save this for down here about the personal narrative. Oh, yeah, you could. <laughs> I'll save. I'll save her a minute. <laughs> um, uh, this is love this just toss it on the floor because it's gonna love this guy oh yeah this is sweet dream santa by vermilion stitchery so cute this actually went in a round robin and the girls helped me with this so there's quite a bit of him done but um a lot of hair has to be done I, I got to stitch the white bunnies. <laughs> bunnies I love are the bunnies. So he's looking really good. I just need to finish him up. But I haven't gotten back to him yet for some reason. All right. And then I have Barnwood Buttons. Oh, I love this one. It's by Rosewood Manor. And I think I've done about two pages on it. So here's where I am at. Such pretty fabric, too. This is barnwood fabric. Yes, from Picture This Plus. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm trying to be helpful to each other in the, <laughs> in the way. This, and, we'll get better at this uh, choreographed movement once yeah. we've done a couple of these. <laughs> okay. There's oh. the picture, and this is what it's Snowy Christmas Quaker Style by... Oh, from R.E.T.M., who was my stitch along. Oh. Nancy didn't even know that. That's so fun. No. That's the picture. Yeah, and I know I started it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I did something on it. Not a whole bunch, but I got one of the little motifs in. I can't see where I'm at. Here, let me pull this up. There, there we go. go. So I got that one little motif in. Oh, that's so pretty. It's on blue. Yeah. I'm so surprised. That. <laughs> <laughs> so that is all of mine except what I'm going to show you a little bit later. Okay, cool. Now, what about you? You weren't, you're not having I'm not, this Yeah, time. I'm not showing it this time. You're not um, whipping it. No. So we thought we would try and give you a little bit of personal narrative from time to time just to let you know a little more about us. And this time we thought it would be appropriate to start with how we got a we got started stitching. <laughs> um, I told you I'm the baby of the family, so everybody was gone a lot by the time I came along. And we had a next door neighbor who was an older lady, Mrs. Martin. 
And she, um, she really took, was sweet, even though when we were kids, she don't. She think terrified are. us. So, <laughs> I mean, she terrified me. But she took care of her granddaughter every day during the summer. And her granddaughter's name was Betty. And mm -hmm. I played with Betty all day as long as I could. But Miss Martin insisted that there be time every day where you had to have quiet time. And you either had to read or you had to do embroidery. And I figured, being the chatty thing that I am, that I could do embroidery and still talk. And obviously I can't talk when I'm reading a book. So I ran home and said, Mom, Mom! And Mom pulled out all of her tea towels and she had those transfers um, and she stamped all of her tea towels and I ran back down to Miss Martin's. I think she provided all the floss and the needles and everything else. And she taught me to do embroidery. And she made sure she was a stickler. And I, you know, I told you I was a little intimidated by her, so I was afraid to do anything wrong. So I, people comment regularly that I have really neat backs. Well, I say that's thanks to Mrs. Yeah. Martin because, yeah. believe whoo. it. And then believe when, it. do you have when you were young? Because then I have it when I started cross-stitching too. I, when I, I really didn't cross-stitch or embroider when I was young. I didn't have the patience for it. What I did was those printed tea towels that you did, um, I did the liquid embroidery. So mm -hmm. it was a tube that you colored it all in. Mm -hmm. That was my youth. And we both love to do the pot holders on oh, the yeah. loom. We oh, oh yeah. my gosh, we love that. So when I got older, um, I went to a creative circle party with a friend from work. And I bought some kids. They said, oh, if you've done embroidery, you can do cross-stitch. No problem. <laughs> sure. So I bought a couple kits, And one of them was huge. I mean, huge. And I took it home. And I, I started working on it. And, um, of course, you know, the directions were maybe not the easiest for me to understand. I'm more of a visual learner. And I took it to my boyfriend's mother. And she's now my mother-in-law. And I basically threw it at her and said, here, you can have it. I don't want it. I don't ever want to see it again. Poor Doris. And I was probably, <laughs> I think I was about 18 then. And, um, and a few weeks later, it came back to me. And she had stitched it and framed it. And she gave it to me and said, now, why don't you start with something smaller? <laughs> So I did. I had bought another little kit, and it was a little bitty, just like five by seven, maybe. And um, it's a bluebird sitting in a window, and it says, when God closes a door, he opens a window. And I loved it. And in fact, I'll have to bring it one of these times because I didn't notice then, but now when I look at it, I realized that there was a straight stitch border all the way around. And I must have gone this way, and when I got up to the corner, my last stitch is <laughs> So I left an opening there for that little bird, let me tell you. So. Oh, too funny. And when you were in Creative Circle, then Mom and I didn't know, have any idea what it was she was doing. But she invited us to this party because she was selling it by that time. And I started, we got some patterns and I started cross-stitching then. Mm -hmm. And that's how I really got into it. But, you know, several years passed and... I hadn't done any projects, so I got rid of all of my boxes of floss. That was back when I bobbined it all, bobbinated as <laughs> they say, Chelsea and Priscilla, bobbinated. And um, I think I had two or three boxes packed. I got rid of all that, got rid of all my patterns, and thought, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore. There's no sense it's sitting in my basement. So my son was dating this girl, and she was a really big garage sale person love to go to garage sales. She came home one day and she said, Hey, I bought something for you. It's called the Cottage Garden Fairy. Fairy. Yep. And she got her for 50 cents. It's a mirabilia. Can you believe that? <laughs> and I, I then felt obligated to start it. So her 50 cent pattern has now cost me well over $100, and I'm not even halfway done getting my supplies 
And I got this phone call saying, Laura, we have to go shop for floss. But I want to get it close. Can you see the black on there for the outer edge of the wing? I made a mistake there. And it was supposed to be two strands, and I only used one strand. But I like it because it gives a real light, delicate, filigreed look almost mm -hmm. to it. It's so, really pretty. But that's as far as I have. And this is all this. Uh, blending filament in here, isn't mm -hmm. it? Or braid. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah. So I love the pattern. It was such a nice idea. But from there, it's blossom. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> and Nancy is much more, she has much more of a tendency to be a one-at-a-time stitcher yeah. than I ever will. Yeah. I'm a little more faithful at this point, and I, I feel like I, I'll get fixated on something, but I've discovered Stitch Mania, and um, I am really excited, and I think I need to do that challenge. Oh, my. <laughs> so, you'll see later, I'll show you one that I found in my stash that I had to start because it was the designer of the month, and it's the only oh. pattern I own. So, they have specific things in Stitch Mania that you have to do? Well, there, there are different challenges that they offer you. So, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so, stash or stash. haul. I, um... I have something I've gotten recently, but I can't show you today. I don't. It's it's something I'm going to stitch on my iPad. Oh. And I will figure out um, how to get a picture printed out this next week and see if I can bring it and show you. It's a really cute little Frosted Pumpkin, again, because Frosted Pumpkin is the designer for February in Stitch Mania. Cool. And um, that's not, I, they're so cute, that's not typically my style, but I found one that is just going to be perfect, so. Well, these, what my haul is, partly, is from a trip that we made mm -hmm. to St. Louis to visit um, Nancy Turner of, I never get her name. Victorian Motto, Motto Sampler, Sampler Shop. Shop. I always mix her up with a couple of the other ones, and I get a whole new name for all three of them. But I got, actually there, I got this box of flosses. Aren't those gorgeous? I just think they're so beautiful. This one is called Antique Dried Flower Collection. Mm -hmm. And then I also got some little um, charms. Yes. And I've got pumpkins and birds and all sorts and of little Christmas things. things yeah, some Christmas things. Oh yeah, I got the reindeer. Can we get bells? I got the reindeer and Santa so okay. I can put them on something. And I think I think we got some bells in there too. I know I did. I didn't remember yeah. if you did. And then somebody got me some floss. This is um this is her sister collection. Gorgeous. I can't think what the name of it is. Um but so pretty. Um, Nancy actually, Nancy Turner actually lost her sister, and she did this set. I, you know, I'm giving this to my sister Nancy and just sobbing. You know, can't <laughs> even get it out. Yeah, but and she I did cried this. to drop my hat. So we're at, <laughs> we're at a retreat, and she's giving this to me, and then I'm crying. She's <laughs> crying. Everybody's going, "What's wrong with you, girls?" Yeah, and it's really <laughs> sweet. It has things like guardian angel. And everlasting flowers and favorite flowers and best friends. It just, it's very sweet. It's a beautiful collection. Mm -hmm. But then from Nancy, I also got, this is going to be hard to see. This is a pink and Let's it's so it. beautiful. Let's see if I can get close and make it focus. We'll hope that that focuses yeah. for you. It's a really, really pale, pale pink. It's very delicate. Yeah, I love it. And then I also got this gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's a cocoa color. Dusty cocoa, and I really liked it. But I think I'm going to do, on the pink, I'm going to do this Petite Rainbow Row by Barbara and Cheryl. Let's see, did I get that in there? Yeah, okay. that's it. And I'm going to use my box of flosses that I got from Nancy, the Antique Dried Flower Collection, oh, yeah. because that's just, the colors are just going to be outstanding. Mm -hmm. And then, because I was watching Floss too, <laughs> I saw two patterns that I just had to have. You all have added a lot 
to our Pinterest boards. Man. <laughs> We're forever pinning and then saying, I pinned something, I pinned something. <laughs> but this one is called Am's Ann Sampler, and it's by Threadwork Primitives. I just fell in love with that. I thought it was gorgeous. Very antique looking to me, and the flower was beautiful. Mm, I love that. Kind of an Art Deco flower. Yeah, just so pretty. A little crown on it. Um, and then the other thing that I got recently is Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street. And you know what's funny? I was going to pin this on my Pinterest board. It was already there. I just haven't ever gotten it. And um, because of Chelsea. Yes, thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> I uh, I thought, that is just so cute. It I was beautiful yes. when she got done with it. One of the things, um, one of the other things I really like to stitch are stars. And, yes. and I just, I love it. These are so unique. Mm -hmm. You know, because they look like um, quilting stars. Yes. yes. And I just loved them. So that was my haul. And plus it had... <laughs> It had uh, sunflowers on it, which reminded me of my brother. Yes. He used to have great, big, huge, tall sunflowers yeah. at the back of the house. Okay, is that it for your haul? That's me. And I did not bring any of that. So okay. next, we want to talk about our current projects, our stitching plans. Okay. Well, I am currently, it's all me today, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, it gets to be all her. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm currently working on French Woolens by Plum Street. She's one of my favorite um, designers. Hi, Paulette. Hi, Paulette. I've watched your videos. <laughs> Enjoyed them. And this is where I'm at. I'm almost done. Let me take it. Yeah. I love those little sheep. I think they're crazy. And you got to go over to your... Because here's a little sheep butt oh, okay. up here. And there's a little sheep butt up there. <laughs> so I've just got two more left. Oh, my goodness. I just got the guy standing straight up at attention. And then so another one right here. Nancy may have a finish soon. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I did have one other little cutie that I forgot to show you guys. Um, I yeah, um, worked with a lady whose mother died, and her mother had been a, a huge crafter. And so she brought me all sorts of stuff from her mom's house. And in it were some finished things. And... Um, they it was the the piece was stitched but it hadn't been made into anything and i'll show you my cute little backing this little pink gingham i love that With the eyelet on it that's yeah. pretty and but what really got me is this <laughs> he's is, such a sweet little guy <laughs> isn't he just i mean i love him he's and adorable I, I made him so he could just sit up and i i sent her a picture and said Oh my gosh, I just love this. It was one of your moms. I, I just, he makes me happy every time I look. And she said, well, mom would have just loved that. Sweet. So it was very sweet. Um, my current stitching. So I said that um, Stitch Mania has had me doing things. January's designer of the month was Glendon Place. Ooh. And I know that I have another Glendon Place, but I really didn't want to pull it out because it's huge. Oh. And I just didn't want another huge project going. So I pulled this one, Dance of the Tulips. Wow, that's pretty. Which I really like. Um, they did it on a really pretty green fabric. And um, the thing that... I love all the swirls and oh it's so pretty yeah and I have some really pretty silks and I love to get to work with silks I don't know if you can see all of that um I love to get to work with silks because they just feel so nice they're so silky so <laughs> really cool and I am instead, I found this piece of silk weaver fabric. I am stitching it on fabric called Jamaica Sunset. Jamaica Sunset. <laughs> and it is. Oh, huge, um, it is it going to be that big. <laughs> now, this is the top, or nearly the top, you know, within range anyway. But this is it. Can you wow. hold that curly sure, side down mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. um, and. I whipped through this vase like cool. nobody's business. That is gorgeous. And I, it, this fabric has all of the colors in it. 
that are in the the stitched piece so I really love that because yeah. it's I'm sure the video doesn't do it justice but it is a gorgeous piece but we'll see I you know you'll see pictures of it on Facebook I think I posted one on Instagram uh, not too long ago and um, I won't be able to tell you my Instagram name because I don't have any idea and <laughs> there are things that my daughter gets me to do you know that I'm not quite into yet <laughs> Um, my second one that I've been working on that I absolutely am in love with is Magic Garden Sampler by Shakespeare's Peddler. And I got this one um, at a cross-stitch garage sale. I mean, that's what they call it. It's uh, some ladies that we stitch with, the Kansas Stitchers. We try to rehome our patterns, um, the ones that we're not going to stitch again or work with. Um, there's some that I always save. I always save my shepherd's bush because I, I love the bands and things and I've used them. These are all my beautiful colors. I don't know if you can really see, but I think I've used every color and really I'm really far along with this one. So it shouldn't take me too long. Um, this is a piece of fabric from Nancy Turner and it has just a little bit of pink in it. This is a 40 count fabric, and I love how delicate this mm -hmm. whole thing looks. It's um, it's really become one of my favorites. It's really cute. This crazy little snail up here. I mean, this snail is just hysterical. <laughs> and you'll have to vote. Is this a blackbird or a chicken? People keep debating every time I post it. I have my thoughts on it. You tell me what you think. And we'll tell you more about it the next time that you see it. <laughs> so that is, that's what I'm planning to work on this week. Is Are you working on your French woolens? Yeah, I'll, I'll finish that out and get that done. And then I'm going to work on my two pin cushions that I can't talk about. <laughs> Did you say you have another piece you wanted to start? Well, I think I'm going to do... You know, I don't know. <laughs> we are trying to figure out what patterns we're taking with us to the retreat. Yeah. And so it's hard to get things started. And, you know, we don't want to start a bunch of stuff that we can't really take with us. And right. That's been kind of interesting to figure out. So that is what we have for this yep. time. That's it. And I hope that you can tell that we really are addicted sisters <laughs> we are addicted to stitching we are yes we like our stuff so until next time <laughs> i'm lara and i'm nancy and bye bye, bye.